Hey everyone, it's Paul here again from The Budded Hex. Uh, today is a very special video for our channel. It's our 50th Hoplomarcus video. And in recognition of this, Josh and Adam Carlson, the makers of Hoplomarcus, have asked if they could uh, make chips for us and put us actually in the game. Um, they've uh, made a chip for myself and my oldest son, Will. Hi guys. Will uh, actually does all the video editing and the filming for the channel and they really wanted to add him in the game as well. So we're super stoked with how they've turned out. We got the chips a couple of days ago. We've had a couple of goes with them. Um, we're also going to do a giveaway at the end of the video, so hang around for that. But what we're going to do now is we're going to show you the chips, go through the abilities on each chip, and then we've just got a couple of other things we want to get through and then we'll explain how you can win the chips. So I'll start with my chip. So here it is. So I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Uh, I've got a great alt attack, but I'll explain that in a minute. So I'll just go through the chip quickly. So the chip's got uh, three health, as you can see. Um, it's got a great attack range of three. We've got two speed, two tactical uh, ability, and um, a, a black dice for its basic attack. We've also got an alt attack called the Bloodied Hex. Um, so how the, um, the Bloodied he Hex works is you, I'll bring in another Gladiator. So what, you, what it does is um, the rules are going to get updated. The official uh, skills list is going to get updated to add these into it. But I'll just quickly read it out. So it says, roll a black die to make a bleed attack on a unit up to three hexes away. If successful, no damage is done, but any time the unit moves, it must leave one health on the hex where it last stood. If the unit does not move, it does not lose health. At one health, this unit cannot move or it dies instantly. Clear off bloodied hexes after each round. So to show you this, so what I'll do is I'll roll a dice, so it's my turn, I'll be using the um, alt attack uh, bloodied hex so I've got a hit so what me and Will have uh, decided to do we leave the the dice on the gladiator who's got the hex on him so he doesn't do damage at the moment so he just uh, stays there but when it comes to this gladiator's turn if he wants to move he has to leave a chip behind like that so each time it's just going to do damage. Now this gladiator, he's got three speed, so he could actually move again. So he moves again, but every time he has to leave um, a health chip. So now he's down to one health, he can't move. If he moves, he's, he, he dies automatically, and that's the finish of him. So my ability is a really, really great really great uh sorry uh alt attack is a really great alt attack you know because you can do that i can use it one round and then the next round i can do it it's got great range i'm really happy with the chip how it's turned out and really really happy with the alt attack so i'll hand it over to will now and he can explain his chip hi guys so um this is my chip i love it it's turned out really great so the health on my chip is four I've got one attack range, two speed, and three tactical range. My basic attack is one black die and one blue die. And I've got an innate skill which is called Skill Master, so I'll read it out. When this gladiator comes into the arena, name a skill. Innate, ability, or alt attack. From the remainder of this ga game, the unit has that skill available to him. So I could pick any skill in the game and use it. So Will's, Will's chip, we've sort of realised it's a bit of a beast of a chip because um, he can um, he can pick any skill. So like if he's under attack, he could uh, he, use, use the uh, ability ready and then just come out and move and attack straight away. We also found out what works really well is um, the innate um, intimidate because Will's got a great tactical range of three which a lot of people forget about the tactical range but he's got uh he could use intimidate and intimidate is like opposing units within this unit's tactical range 
cannot use basic attacks when attacking um, this unit. So he's really got, he could use his um, tactical range as a, you know, like to stop units attacking him from this far away, like three, three hexes. So we just want to have a quick shout out to Josh and Adam. We really love our chips. Yeah, they've turned out great. Well. Thank you for that. We're really honored to be in the game and uh, we're just super stoked. So thanks for that. Now, one other thing, or two other things we want to say is we've got a, um, a video coming up. We've never done a player versus player video on the channel. So we're going to do that. Me and Will are going to use... And use our chips. Use our chips. So that look out for that video. That'll be coming up shortly. So you'll see the chips in action. Um, also, we've just pretty much well wrapped up filming a series on build your own chips uh look we, there's no one else on youtube that, have, that has done that yet and um they've we've, come out really great yeah we've just got the stickers back from the printer so we're really happy that's going to have another giveaway in that video as well so look out for that so make sure you subscribe we'll get to so what we decided to do with our chips we're going to uh give away two sets of our chips um what you've got to do to win win a set is uh, subscribe, like the video, and you all you have to do is pick a skill that you use on my chip. Yeah, so just leave it in the comments. You don't have to write uh, why you picked the skill. Just just leave us just leave pick any skill. What you think? What what you might want to use when you're using Will's chip? So that's it. So I hope everyone's enjoying our content that we're putting out. Uh, we've we've got a lot of plans on future content if you if you want to see anything or like we do a lot of rules videos and skills videos so if you've got uh, anything that you've been wondering about the game we're happy to research it find out do a video on it um, that's happened a couple of times already a couple of people have contacted us privately and uh, asked can we do videos through forums and stuff so yeah so we're we're just we're happy making all the videos so like i always say check out hopla marcus it's a great game solo co-op or player versus player i'll put a link in the description below where you can um uh, purchase the hopla marcus game from the chip theory website and a really big thanks for everyone that's subscribed already and and thanks for watching thanks guys see you later bye